right, hello, greetings, and welcome everyone to this news video. I am the Ninjaneer, and we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. The topics for today are as follows. Aptera is covered by a bunch of influencers in the Abu Dhabi region. Futuraza presentations. Uh, new fun facts about EVs. Aptera Owners Club debriefs the CEO of Airshaper. CPC's CFSMC pressing process. And things that I liked. Let's get going. So, if you were following the Instagram of a certain solar vehicle channel, you will have noticed that they posted quite a few videos on, uh, so from influencers that were in the Abu Dhabi region when Aptera went there for the DriftX event. And oddly enough, we are having trouble playing them. Um, Aptera Owners Club covered these videos as well. Uh, they are all very fun and interesting, um, and it shows that there is a lot of genuine interest in uh, the Aptera. So, um, pretty much no matter where you are, if you like having the ability to drive around for free, then Aptera is apparently the vehicle for you. Even if you're from Abu Dhabi or... Uh, anywhere in the world, really, uh, that has heard about this vehicle. Futuraza did a couple of presentations at an event that I do not know the name of, even though I'm pretty sure it is in the comment, uh, in the... Actually, let's go ahead and check that out really quick. Reading the description. Uh, Alright, so it doesn't say... Okay, so it doesn't say in the in the uh, description of the video, but he went to an event and did a couple of presentations. Both of them were really neat, and I'm going to go ahead and skip this commercial really quick to show you guys the video itself where he debunks 12 EV myths that apparently refuse to go away. Uh, they only refuse to go away because uh, people keep reporting on them, so folks that are unversed in EVs, please... Uh, make sure that you verse yourselves on EVs, those of you in the news media and all that jazz. At any rate, the 12 myths were all very interesting and all very pervasive, all things that I've heard before. So if you like to hear a little bit of ammunition for those folks that uh, have these pervasive beliefs, go ahead and check this video out. The link will be below. The second presentation that he did was essentially a look into the future of EVs. He did so from a uh, sh short, uh, medium to short term future, and then medium term future, and then really long term future. Uh, so it was a very interesting video as well. I suggest you guys check it out if you are interested in a very well researched individual's take on the future of EVs. Not entirely certain how those got sound to them. Uh, sorry about that. I'll see if I can edit it out later. The next bit of news is Aptera Owners Club got to sit down with uh, Walter Remery, uh, Remery, the CEO of Airshaper, and they basically talked about all of the things that he experienced at the Aptera facility from the vehicle to the drive to the interview and things like that. It was a very interesting interview. If you haven't had the opportunity, I suggest you check it out because it is just that neat. Uh, if you need any more indicator that, <clears throat> indicator that is pretty neat, he has as many likes as I have views. So yeah, check it out. It's really an awesome video. All right, so Aptera Owners Club did another video where they talked about the pressing process that CFSMC goes through, at least from the perspective of CPC. They... Uh, posted a video, or rather a company posted a video with uh, the CFSMC process from start to finish. They were even kind enough to show the temperature required for the curing of the CFSMC. Um, yeah, so Aptera Owners Club did a bunch of calculations um, in this video as well, and I found those ca calculations quite pleasant and uh, pretty accurate, so yeah, go ahead and jump in there and check it out if you like a little bit of math and a little bit of machining processing for carbon fiber 
uh, generally speaking. I also took the time to look at the original video. Um, it was a bunch of fun, flashy music. Uh, it also showed the overall process and the machines, the same machines that Aptera is going to be using, by the way, to press their components. So this is essentially the, the part of the process that we don't necessarily get to see very often or at all really when it comes to CFSMC. We got to see the process of the pressing, we got to see pieces of the material being <coughs> being placed into the holder, we got to see different aspects of the manufacturing process including how we got the little rivets and dowels into the part itself so a bunch of really nice really fun really cool pieces of information that you can glean from this video if you take the time to uh, watch it all the way through so yeah this is down below as well um aptera owners club and the uh and the pei mobilities uh video in its entirety pei partnership with cpc pei is a oh my goodness uh, PEI is a manufacturing company that basically does uh, train components and, and other like lathes and, and other sorts of interesting stuff. So you can check those guys out as well. They're a pretty neat company, but I don't know how much they have to do with Aptera besides the fact that they both happen to use CPC. Sandy Monroe talked about the Tesla layoffs, and let me tell you guys, uh, he has a very grounded perspective on this situation, on this matter, and somehow at the same time still manages to pull off a really good angry old man. So <laughs> I don't think he was actually angry. Uh, I think he was ranting a bit because the general consensus in the public is, oh, this is the end of Tesla. Wah. While I do think, like I said before, it is a mistake, they are not done because of this. Nobody's going to say Tesla, uh, well, sorry, I'm not going to say that Tesla is going to fall apart or, or become a, a, a pauper on the street. The, the workers are going to be paupers on the street because they laid off the, yeah, no. So Tesla is going to be fine. Uh, the workers, I would imagine because of their fantastic experience and uh, perspective on things that they would be hired fairly quickly, I hope. I pray for those guys that they are doing uh, the best right now, that they are transitioning easily to their next jobs, that they were uh, able to land on their feet. At any rate, this video was really thorough and really interesting, and I would suggest checking it out. So, there is a gentleman that I've talked about many times on this channel before named Farzad Mizbahi. He decided to put out a video talking about the Tesla bot details and Warren Buffett's buying of Tesla stock or potential of buying Tesla stock, that kind of thing. The video itself is pretty good. It was very informative, very detailed, very in-depth as he tends to be. I suggest checking it out if you like good content. Last but not least for the three things that I like this week, there is a couple of videos that I um, decided to put together into one thing. Otherwise, I would have more than three things that I liked. I try to m make it only three just because I, I don't know, I, I just felt that three was a good number. Anyway, so Drive the Lightning has a couple of videos with uh, animals and they're all very cute animals and um, yeah, they talk about EVs. So EVs and animals, what's not to like is one of their videos and then this DTL v uh, viewer is also a critter lover. So both of those videos are very fun and very short and little... Uh, pick-me-ups for your morning if you like animals and uh, drive the lightning. So yeah, go ahead and uh, check those guys out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am The Engineer. If you'd like to like and or subscribe, please do so by clicking on the linky links, um, do the other youtube -y things, uh, still working on all of the other sidebars with money. I, I am uh, it's kind of weird in, in that respect uh, because I don't necessarily like taking money from people. Uh, except my employer, um, 
which is odd because I've owned a business. Anyway, long story short, um, still working on that and figuring out the best value and working with YouTube to, to, to get that put together. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hopefully that'll be together soon. Catch you next time, which will hopefully be later this week. If not later this week, I'll catch you next week, Monday, for the next news update.